hello guys welcome to the video so in this video i'm going to show you how to go ahead and create a solana network wallet okay as you can see right here on my screen i'm on um, metamax but you can't actually go ahead and add solana network on metamax i don't know why but yeah there's a separate wallet for you to make use of in creating a solana network okay or holding a solana network wallet basically so in order for you to do that you need to make use of a separate solana network there are actually two types of wallets i think we have the phantom wallet and we also have the software wallet okay i'm actually going to be making use of the of the phantom wallet so basically what i'm going to do is to go to create a new tab and um, search for the the, the website address i'm going to paste the right website address in my description below so you can go ahead and follow what i'm actually doing okay so once you're done with that the next thing you want to do basically is to go ahead and uh, add this to your chrome browser as you can see right here add it to your chrome browser it's going to show you um add to chrome basically i'm going to click on add to chrome i'll click on add to chrome and um, it's going to add to chrome basically okay it's downloading so why is downloading and let me just explain a few things as you can see right your metamax there are a few tokens you can go ahead and add you can add foreign tokens like the uh, phantom like the phantom and um, opera and um, you can go ahead and add the polygon network on metamax but you can't add that of the solana network you need to make use of a separate wallet okay like the phantom wallet and um, the so the software wallet okay let me go ahead and search for software wallets thank you so fair thank you so fair okay, so why that is opening let me so i'm on google basically as you can see so fair a software wallet so it's going to open now um so you can this this website this is what it looks like but i love that of um the phantom wallet so i think i'll make use of the phantom wallet instead but depending on the one you actually want to go for you can yeah so since i'm using this i'm using this phantom wallet basically as you can see it's going to ask you to create a new wallet um if you want you can go ahead and create a new wallet you can go ahead and use a secret phrase key i can do that by pasting my phrase key if i want and <laughs> yeah boom so i'll create a new wallet i can click on copy then i click on i've saved here then i'll just click on i understand and put in my password okay put in my password then click on save and okay let's click on continue and yeah done and it's going to add my wallet okay so as you can see right here the icon is now here in order for you to do that you need to pin it by clicking on this extension icon right here scroll down to where you see phantom click on this pin and it's going to pin it to your all list of extensions that you want to pin basically so i'm going to click on the phantom wallet and it's going to show you the phantom wallet as you can see this is your this is your solana um network address for on phantom wallet basically okay as you can see this are uh, this is your wallet you can deposit you can send and this button here shows you um your collectibles nfts and this one is also the fee that you can go ahead and swap a token from solana to usdt often then this one is your recent activity then this one is your settings and you can see you can change your wallet your wallet um name, name of your wallet you can also go ahead and change your display names and lots more and when you click on this icon basically you'll be able to uh, create or add a new wallet and yeah in order for you to add tokens you have to click on manage token list and um, once you click on manage token list you can go ahead and enable existing tokens right here as you can see you can you can also go ahead and search for a solana a, a token on the solana network basically and i'll just click on i'll just enable this basically i'll just enable this for the sake of this video I'll enable it I don't know why i don't know why it's slow in responding i'll do that again now then if you want to add a token you can click on the plus icon then it's going to show you this you put in the main address put in the name and symbol and you can add the token okay 
this will cost you this with this solana okay so yes that is guys for this uh, video if you actually enjoyed the video consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't and also don't forget to leave a like on this video if you actually enjoyed the video thanks for watching guys and um see you in another video like this